Huh? What? Move. Why? One day after school, a girl fell from the sky just like an aggressive scene from a certain anime. I'm not good at clinch fighting. My name is Keiichi Sato. I'm 17 years old and I'm in the 11th grade. At school, I never joined any club activities and I hardly have any friends, let alone a girlfriend. I'm what's called a lonely introvert. Huh? What? Move! Watch out! Why? <coughs> One day after school, a girl fell from the sky and uh, she gave me a headbutt on my nose. Oh crap! Uh, maybe it worked a little. Whoa! Oh no, I did it. Y you are you okay? Ah! Blood is coming out from your nose. Gah. Oh, oh, oh no! I hurt you. I'm sorry. I'll call an ambulance right away. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Y you don't have to go that far. I'm fine. B but I'm really okay. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It helped a little, but it's a lot better than when I got tackled and got a counterattack from the knee to my face. This wouldn't be a problem. You, you're a lot more tougher than you look, aren't you? And well, you're really muscular, aren't you? Oh, well, I go to the gym and do mixed martial arts, so... I guess so. I see. So you're strong, huh? And you're really kind. Huh? Because you risked your life to save me when you could have been seriously injured. Well, that's because a girl fell from the sky. So it was a spur of the moment kind of thing. A g girl Oh, sorry. I guess you don't say it like that nowadays, huh? It, it's not like that. I just haven't been treated like a girl since I was a kid. But, but, don't get the wrong idea. I didn't ask for your help, you know. Just because you're a bit muscular doesn't mean you can act like you're all that. I mean, just let me off, will ya? Okay, okay. Hey. How did you even fall off that thing? I didn't fall. I flew. Huh? You really don't make any sense, you know. I can't help it. I was running away from... someone who was troubling me. But it's dangerous to jump from that height, you know that, right? Even for a cat, it's just too high, you know. A girl shouldn't do something so dangerous like that. G-girl? I'm sure your family will be worried. It's fine. Oh, there's that look again. I was a little concerned about her expression, but I kept quiet because if I do that, I'd be an annoying guy who pokes into other people's affairs within five minutes of meeting them. So, what were you doing alone in a place like this? I was reading. After school, I usually sit here and read a book while having a snack before practice. Hmm, I see. What kind of book are you reading? Uh, either training books or martial arts books. You're reading some nerdy stuff, aren't you? This month's issue had a special feature on clinch fighting. Are you interested in clinch fighting? Uh, I'm not interested. I'm just not good at it. Then I'll teach you. I've always been good at clinch fighting. Huh? Whoops, it's time to go. You, I'll see you here tomorrow. That's a promise. Huh? Wait! The girl who fell from the sky made a promise to me just like that and ran off. I've never had such a long conversation with a girl like her other than my mother in my life. I'm not sure if that's decent or not. The next day after school, 
I sit down at the same place as I did yesterday and open up a magazine just like I did yesterday. That girl, is she really coming? What's different from usual is that I'm waiting for someone. No, it's not that I'm waiting for her. Yo, did I make you wait? Not really. So you didn't fall off from the sky today, huh? There's no way I'd fly like that every time. <laughs> Come on, get up. I'll teach you how to clinch fight as a thank you for yesterday. Okay, okay. So I started to clinch fight with her without having any expectations. She's big for a girl, but it's all just a girl's game. Whoa! What? I'm not just a normal girl, you know. I've been fighting for more than 10 years, since before I can remember. I see. Meeting her is probably the best encounter I've ever had. You're getting the hang of it. Before I knew it, we'd been fighting for two hours straight. Huh! Whoa! She knocked me down so many times that I even lost track. But in the end, I finally rolled her over. Good job! That's because you taught me well. Hey, by the way, we don't even know each other's names, do we? Oh yeah, now that you mention it. I'm Nagisa Kamiyama, a senior at Kasuga High School. I'm Kichi Sato, a sophomore at Aoto High School. Huh? Nagisa Kamiyama? I had heard that name before. As I recall, the leader of the ladies gang who's known as the strongest had a name like that. I'm the leader of the Kamishun Kai. I knew it! What? Did I scare ya? No, not really. You... don't want to see me anymore? No, not at all! I don't mind at all, you know. I see. Good. She's cute. Hey, hey, you'll come back tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay then. Tomorrow you'll teach me the ground techniques, right, Keiichi? Okay. Yay! For the first time in my life, I promised a girl for the next time. Is this what you'd call a date promise? Keiichi, I wonder if he'll come quickly. I mean... I don't smell, do I? Sorry, I made you wait, right? KG! We're doing the ground techniques today, so I came after I changed. Uh, oh, I see. First, we'll do some stretches. Before we get to the techniques, let's do the basic holding techniques and running techniques. This is how you hold down the sides. Wow! He's close, close, close! I'm sorry. Uh, was that a little difficult for you? I'm f f fine. Well, now you try it, Nagisa. I. I do it to you, Keiji? L like this? Uh, get more closer and put more pressure here. If you don't do that, then I can escape easily. L l like this? Yeah, that's better. On the th third date, he's getting close and now we're wrestling like this? Damn it. KG He's bolder than he looks. <sighs> Good work. You did a great job. Th thanks. Nagisa, you have a great aptitude. I'm surprised. R really? Oh. What's wrong? You got a little bruise on your nose where I headbutted you. Did you cool it down? It's no big deal. You're very close. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you were so close to me earlier on. That was just practice. <laughs> You're funny, KG. She's cute. I think. 
And so we had our daily dates by the riverbank, and before I knew it... KG, I made bentos for lunch today. Wow, this is great! We started having picnics by the riverside even on our days off. Is this what you'd call being in a relationship? I thought it was an urban legend or something like that. You know, I was wrong about you, Nagisa. You're the leader of the ladies' gang, and I thought you were a scary person. But you know, you're really a very kind girl. What? Hey, why are you in the ladies' gang? I wanted to know more about her, so I asked that question to her. If it's to you, Keiichi, I guess I can talk about it. As I've told you before, I've been fighting for as long as I can remember because of my dad who was a cop. I loved my dad, and we practiced together all the time. But dad, he was killed on duty right after I finished ninth grade. I started fighting more and more to get away from that loneliness, but then my mom, who lost her beloved husband, started to depend on me. She started saying things like, You're a girl, so quit doing these dangerous things. A fighting like that was the bond I had with my dad. And I got tired of my mom trying to take it away for her own ego. So, when I got to high school, I got a part-time job to earn money. And I started going around the city at night. Then, I saved a couple of girls from these gangs. And that's how our ladies' gang came to be. I see. Could it be that the troubling person you were running away from that day was your mom? Yeah, she's really persistent. But you know what? I'm glad I flew off the bridge that day. Because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have met you, KG. You're the only one who treated me like a normal girl while... Other people would call and see me as a strong girl. I fell in love with you, who's strong and kind. Hey, make me your girl. Nagisa. Me too. You're also a very important friend of mine, Nagisa. A friend. Huh. I'm sorry. I do like Nagisa, but I don't know if it's friendship or, or love. I don't know how I feel yet. I can't say anything rash to a friend who's precious to me. Nagisa, you're late. We'll start today with a tackle technique. Sorry, KG. Let's not do any practices today. Nagisa, did something happen? Momoko's been kidnapped. What? Momoko-chan just joined the ladies' gang, and she's a 16-year-old girl. I know who kidnapped her. There's someone I beat up a long time ago. Did you talk to the police? No, they don't help. They told me not to tell anyone and to come alone. Are you going? By yourself? I'm the leader. Now that one of my members has been kidnapped, I'll have to go, won't I? I've had a lot of fun, Keiichi. I wish I could be your girl. No! I won't let you go alone! Let go. No, I won't! If you really have to go, then I'll go with you. I have to go alone, on my own. It's okay. I have a plan. A plan? I then quickly explain my plan to Nagisa. Uh, I'm scared. Well, well, well. The leader. <laughs> it seems you came alone as promised. Leader! Sorry to make you wait, Mamako. Hey. Let Momoko go. Now! Huh? 
I'm not gonna do that, you idiot. <laughs> Two toys are more fun than just having one. You asshole. Huh! Who's the asshole here? How dare you talk to me that way? What the? Who the hell are you? Uh, don't mess with me. Hey! What? <laughs> Go, Nagisa! I know. Momoko, let's run away right now. This is the leader's... N no way! If I use this, what are you going to do, leader? I'll be fine. But... but... Just go! Y yes ma'am! She has five minutes to get to the safe area. We'll buy her some time until then. Okay, that's the signal. Don't let them get away, go after them! I won't let you do that! Whoa! I can't see anything! Uh, damn it! Where the hell did they go? Our goal is to rescue Momoko-chan, not to exterminate the minor gang. As long as we accomplish our goal, we don't have any intention to stay there that long. <laughs> that went really well! You're the best, Keiji! I never thought you'd come up with such a bold plan. Yeah, I'm surprised myself. Hey, can we go by the beach for a bit? By the beach? I don't mind, but... Keiji, thank you so much once again. What are you saying that for? That time and even today, Keiji, you risked your life to save me. I can't thank you enough. It's only normal, you know. You're very important to me. You mean I'm your important friend, right? No. No, we're friends. But if possible, I'd like to be more than that. Keiji? I was so scared that I might not be able to see you anymore. So, I want to be with you. Forever and always. Does that mean that you're going to make me your girl? That's your answer, is that right? Yes. Will you be my girl? I'm so happy! In my senior year of high school, I cut back a bit on my practice and started studying at home more. Keiji! I don't understand this. Uh, for that, you should translate it from here. But since Nagasa is with me, it's not as difficult as I thought it would be. Nagasa retired from the ladies' gang after that and decided to go to the same university as me. After getting into the university, she'll move out of her house and live with me, so she'll be able to get a proper distance from her mom. Thanks for watching until the end! Please subscribe to our channel!